I'm Sylvia Earle, explorer in residence at the National Geographic, founder of Mission Blue, and also deep ocean exploration and research, a company that builds equipment for exploring the ocean. So I've been exploring the ocean most of my life, thousands of hours under the sea. And it's that perspective that I have brought to the topic here at USAID. So the question here, food security, is first of all to peel back the layers of what is food security as it relates to what we're taking from the ocean. Some certainly does relate to feeding people, especially in developing countries, in coastal areas, but freshwater systems as well, consuming wildlife as a primary source of sustenance. But increasingly, much of what is taken, even in these developing countries, is being exported. So it's a more secure economy because they're selling off their wildlife, if you will, like cutting your trees to support your economy. They cut the fish to support their economy. These are issues that we're addressing at this conference about the waste, about the lack of accountability, about the real need to feed people with our numbers, now seven billion, swelling to some indefinite number. Coastal countries, developing countries, probably see more clearly than the, the, those who actually get to consume the fish that are sent from those countries to distant places. People who live close to the sea <laughs> know that it takes years to make a fish that goes to market. Unlike chickens that can go to market in less than a year, or some of the mammals that are raised, whether it's pigs or goats or cows, they also go to market fairly soon. And for the most part, the animals that we grow are plant eaters. But the fish that are taken, that are exported, people don't know what it takes. And even the people who are doing the taking only recently have begun to understand that there's a true cost to the ecosystem. But we have to learn how to be really smart about not destroying the source in our quest for either sustainable economy or sustainable food. Can we have our fish and eat them too? Can we have an ocean that works in our favor, protecting wild systems with marine protected areas at the same time that we have some areas where fishing can usefully and in some kind of stable way take place, as well as having some places designated perhaps for open ocean aquaculture while adapting closed systems for the most effective use of water, more crop per drop, as they say, more calories per unit effort, better ways to feed people, food security, planetary security, our existence is really on the line.